Okay, Meg Ivanen, and welcome back to another random film review. Now, I'm going to review, because i seen about a couple days ago, this movie, The Juniper Tree. And I showcased this in an update. It stars Bjork, and that's the only person I know. I don't know any of these people. I, I've never heard of this director. Nish, Nishka Kim. Nishka. Nishka Kim. But you know what? I saw her interview... And she's speaking English perfectly fine. You know, it was a 2002 interview. And this movie was technically in 87. And so she was like 19. Bjork was 19 at the time. Uh, it was made in 87. So it's an 80s flick. But it wasn't released until 1990. Um, now, this film is most likely not going to be for everyone. Uh, it's shot in glorious black and white, you know, to make the um the background and the images seem to pop more with those kind of colors you know how how black and white can kind of do that when you just have to uh your eyes just have to discern between you know a monochrome color you know black or white you know there's not so much colors so certain things can can come out more you know at least that's how it works for me you know the backgrounds and the mountains and the clouds um or anyways uh, the movie is like, I think it's like an hour and it's not super long. Yeah, it's 79 minutes long. And it, like I said, it shows it's 1990, but it was released in, released in 1990, but was made in 87. Um, you know, it's, it's, this is kind of like in the same vein same category as films like Midsommar or Wicker Man, things of that nature, pagan shit, you know, um, and and uh, witches, you know, stuff like that. All them witches, right? From Rosemary's Baby, right? The book. Uh, but this is my second time seeing it. The first time I seen it was like totally a shitty ass copy, and I the sound was crap. But I still got the gist of the film and. Um, seeing it like this, it doesn't get any better. It, it's it's beautiful, but the film is is it's not like a a super epic. It it is kind of like a as they said, it was an a experiment sort of to you know see how something like this would do. You know, you know, shot in black and white, and a lot of experimental things going on, I guess. And um, how can I put this? It starts off with uh, Margaret, I think is her name, Margaret, and her older sister. Uh, will it tell me what the older sister's name is? This is based off of the uh, Grimm's fairy tale. Uh, it does not tell me her friggin' name, but uh, Margaret and her older sister, uh, they found a corpse of a witch floating in... It wasn't even a... It's like a, a, a stream or something, you know, in the water. And so they decided it's not safe for them there. Now, Margaret is not a witch, but the older sister is a witch. But she doesn't want to believe it or know it. But the reason why the older sister wants to move away from that place is because it's apparently now they're killing witches. This is takes place. It's a uh, takes place in a medieval period in Iceland. So it's a uh, medieval Iceland, right? So it again, it's medieval. So it belongs in the same category as stuff like Conan, Lord of the Rings. To me. Never was and Bridge to Terabithia and all that shit, right? To me, to me. Um, so they have to move away. And the the older sister marries some man who already has a son who lost his wife, and that's a whole film is how they're living together. And um, there's some strange things going on. Like Margaret, it either she's crazy or she's touched it's in the genes and she's touched by witchcraft as well like the sister because she's kind of seeing things she's seeing i think i think it's her mother i think maybe it's her her, her mother she's seeing like her ghost but you you can never tell if it's just in her head or not um and she kind of listens to the stories the mother has to tell um and basically, it's 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 like the mundane of their lives, of them, you know, kind of living their lives, and um, uh, the sis the older sister trying to hide her secret of being a witch, 
and oh and the the stepbrother young stepbrother uh not wanting the older sister to be his new mother his new stepmother and the father's trying to convince the boy that this is just how things are now so it's that sort of thing something happens where the boy uh, uh accuses the sister of being you know the you know Bjork's older sister of being a, a witch you know and M Margaret Margaret you know Bjork's character is defending the sister saying she's not a witch uh so this film is really slow burn guys it's beautiful to watch uh beautiful music some guy on Amazon give it one star saying I can't I can't figure out how to turn on the subtitles one star but I I figured it out it's not that hard but um the f the film is in, in English native English so it's not like it's dubbed in something else you know it's they're speaking English oh yeah oh yeah um but I still like to put the subtitles on uh it's it's very slow burn and um it may not be for everyone just be forewarned about that be prepared there's really no action sequences there might be like a scene or two where it looks like there's some kind of magic but again it's like an illusionary thing that it could be just in her head like there's a part where the mother the ghost of the mother opens up her her shirt it's a button thing and there's like a hole in there and Margaret can reach in into the black void you know so there's that kind of effect um, if you're a Bjork fan then it's absolutely worth seeking out just don't expect this to be like a, a fantastical uh, you know Academy Award winning film it's not very slow um, so also be prepared for that even though it's 79 minutes it can seem like it's longer because it is slow um, uh, dialogue heavy again be prepared for that um, on Amazon I see a lot of people giving it like well there's a lot of it's half and half there's some people give it like bad bad score you know and then you got a lot of people giving it you know five out of five four and a half or four out of five and the bad one saying I can't believe I'm reading all these reviews how, how can they like this shit you know um, to be quite honest I, I would still give it and mind you, I'm a fan of Bjork, um, and this is kind of like, kind of my thing. But even with that, all that being said, I would give the film. I could give it like a seven point five out of ten, a seven and a half out of ten, to be quite honest. Um, yeah. So, uh, there's there's like, yes, three or four four short films in here by the same director, and there's an interview by. Nishkakin, you know, and there's outtakes, which I haven't seen, and I haven't seen the other short films that are on here. Um, but the interview is maybe about, I want to say, 15 minutes long, something like that. And I saw it all, and that was very, very informative and very cool to see. In fact, hmm, it might actually be cool to see that first, so you get a better understanding of what the director was going for. You know, this is a Brothers Grimm fairy tale too, so maybe you want to catch up on your lore on that. But see that interview first, and then see the film, so that way, you know, you can probably, you may, I can't guarantee that, but you may enjoy it a bit more. I didn't go that route, you know, I seen the film first, and then I seen the interview. But but I could see how seeing the interview first could kind of help elevate, uh, you know, the, you know, how much you like the film or not. You know, elevate this this film for you, okay? So... Um, yeah, and that, that is her first film, not The Dancer in the Dark. But yeah, So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed. Oh, um, I should let you guys know real quick what comes in here. This is really cool, guys. Uh, okay, hold on. It's my OCD, right? Okay, here we go. It comes with this um, a booklet, of course. As, you, know, you, you guys are all familiar with a, a booklet. But it comes with this Polaroid. A fake Polaroid of Bjork. You see that? Um, and the scene. So hold on. There we go. And the date. You see that? I think that's that's really neat. And then of course the um, the booklet. So hold on. Let me put this like that. And the booklet is there. 
you know. So yeah. So very very cool. Uh, okay, let me close this up. Sorry, it's my OCD kicking in. Real sorry about that. Okay, so that's it. Hope you all enjoyed and please like, comment, and subscribe and see you.